this is uh, uh, providing peri care for female and male. Hello, Miss um, Smith. I believe. Yes, I'm going to be uh, getting you cleaned up today, providing peri care for you, if that's okay with you. My name is Marie. I'll be your CNA today. Wash my hands. Provide privacy. Raise the bed up to proper um, working height. My basin, two thirds full. Can you check this for me to see if it's okay? Okay, good. Keep my gloves on. a bath blanket I'm just going to use the top sheet um, for testing purposes that's how you'll do too um, but so you want to make sure you have as sm uh, the smallest amount of uh, area exposed whenever you um, whenever you do this so I'm gonna for the female I'm gonna expose her a little bit I'm gonna bend her knees and kind of open up if you can um, some old people are not stretchable like that um, but the chuck or you could use a towel um, when we go to the nursing home you'll be just using a towel I'm going to cover up what I don't need to have exposed I'm avoiding overexposure the first washcloth I'm going to use so I'm going to dip my washcloth in here and wring it out and then I'm going to put the soap on you don't want it too soapy in the basin okay soap on there all right so this is folded the way you should have it okay so when you are going to do peri care, you're going to have four sides to uh, use on the washcloth. I'm going to hold that in my hand like this. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to spread the labia on the female. I'm going to take one swipe down. So I go to middle. Oops. I flip that around. Got another clean side. Spread this. I have a side. And when I do the side, I'm getting the leg as well. I have another side over here. Side. And then I have one more clean side, middle for good luck. Okay, that's always the best place to go. Middle. That is no longer clean, <clears throat> so I am going to put that into my dirty clothes. I'll set it right there for right now because I don't have it. All right, so washing with the soap, that one gets uh, put away for the female run away or discarded. This is my rinse towel, same exact procedure. Down the middle, side, side, and then middle again. And I'll be a dryer. When you are drying her, you're going to do the same kind of thing, front to back front to back. And I'm using a different part of the towel each time. Okay. Now I'm going to turn her on her side. Normally I would turn her away from me, but so that you guys can see, I'm, I'm going to turn her toward me. Come over this way, grab a hold of the rail. Thank you. You're so helpful. Yes. I can use the same washcloth that I rinsed her with. Because remember that the anal area is dirty, um, so it's not going to uh, make that much of a difference unless it's soiled. You know, you don't want to use it if it's soiled. So I'm going to take the washcloth, 
bring it out, put some soap on it. I'm gonna come over here so I can show you guys. Again, I'm holding the washcloth in my hand like that, and I have my little flippy things right there. I'm gonna take, wipe up like this. Again, up this way, kind of go over the cheek a little bit. Again, up this way, go over the other cheek. And then use the last one to just really kind of wash the area here. Okay? I can use this, rinse it out again. Now, uh, if it's got poop on it, of course, you can get a different uh, washcloth. Um, so I suggest bringing in, you know, several washcloths whenever you are uh, bathing a person for real. Rinse the same way. dry in the same fashion. So while she's over here, I would remove this and turn her back. I think I'll be able to do all that at one time because I got my hands clean. Right. Okay, Mrs. Smith. Smith is now going to become Mr. Smith. So that's how we're going to do it. We're just going to go right from the female to the male. Okay. Let me just take this off here and I'll show you how to do. Oh, goodness gracious. Even during testing? No, you only do female for testing. So the same thing, I've already come in, you know, washed my hands, introduced myself, uh, I've done all that stuff, got my water, okay? Um, got my washcloth. I only need one for the man. Unless he's soiled, then you might need a few, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put the, put the peri pad down here. So for the male, if they are circumcised, if you don't know what an uncircumcised male looks like, it kind of looks like this penis does right here. <laughs> but basically the, uh, <clears throat> the foreskin is all up over top of the, the head of the penis. So, so this person here is uncircumcised, so what I would do is I would pull that foreskin back so that you get clean. You have to do it. I know it sounds really weird, I know it sounds gross and all that kind of stuff, but if you don't do that, this could be in this could get infected all underneath that foreskin. Okay? So pull that foreskin back and then you're gonna clean right around that that area right there. Okay, just make a little circular motion. You don't have to flip this one, okay? So after I, I clean that, I'm gonna move down to the base and kind of clean around there. Don't forget about the scrotum. And remember, this is not gonna be sticking up like this. You're gonna to have to literally pick it up and move it and, you know, and handle it, okay? So I'm washing, continue washing all around here, okay? I'm gonna rinse now. Again, pulling that skin back, rinse it. Okay, and then dry it. And if I pulled the foreskin back, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the foreskin back over top of, of the head of the penis. Okay. And then I'm going to turn him on his side. I'm going to do the 
bottom. Same way I did the female. And you flip for this just because it just gives you more areas to clean with and that's a dirty area. But rinse. Mr. Smith, throw this away when we get back. Make sure you're comfortable. Take my linen, my dirty linen, and put it in the dirty linen container, which is going to be right there for right now. Wash my hands. Put the bed down. Here's your call bell. Just call me if you need anything. And record and report. So when I'm reporting what or recording what's going on, if I see anything like drainage, crusties, anything abnormal. So like whenever I pulled that foreskin back and there was like some kind of, you know, drainage and, and yucky stuff or with a female, same thing. It was like, you know, whatever down there, you would report that to the nurse, okay, or any unusual smells, things like that, okay, that's it.